Awesome viewers, welcome to AZ Studio. This is a tutorial to show you how I made the command console or control panel um, for action figures, um, for action figures dioramas or as a backdrop for action figures photography. So I hope you enjoy this video. The method that I'm showing you in this video is relatively simple. It is fast, it is easy, and most importantly, it is cheap. And all you need is just a little bit of patience, no skill involved, nothing special. When I make these consoles, you know, my objective is relatively simple. All I want is just try to make it look decent, look good, and fast and quick. For those who follow my channel, and you probably already know that I'm making a big 1 to 18 scale scratch wheel Land Raider, and I'm working on the interior details at the moment, and I need to have, you know, control panels or, you know, some kind of monitors inside. So I have to make them as a separate piece that can be placed inside the tank. But at the same time, they can be displayed separately, so I can use it for you know other uh, future applications. And you're probably thinking, oh look, you know, it is only designed for a one to eighteen scale figures. But the method that I use apply to a much larger command console or a much smaller one. You know, it, it, the, basically the method is the same; it doesn't change. For the materials, um, I use mangboard, paperboard, or cardboard to do the control panel. Um, of course, you can use you know, plastic card, that's not an issue. But for plastic cards, you know, you have to go to a model shop to get it. And also in this video, it is supposed to be a easy tutorial. So I wanna make sure the materials can be easily purchased by, you know, anyone. And for tools, all you need to have is the glue, PVA glue, um, and a knife, and to cut the cardboard, and a ruler, uh, to do measurements and also a pencil and nothing more than that. That's it. Um, of course, you need cut, <laughs> you know, cutting board and things like that um, to to cut the um, you know cardboard. So the first thing to do is to use one of your action figures that you want to you know play with your dioramas or the control console, you know, and. Um, and then measure it, you know, just do it to measure how big you want the command console to be anyway, right? Uh, for me, it, because it is 1 to 18 scale, so I ensure it matches the size of a uh, Warhammer Space Marine, nothing more than that, right? But you can do that with other figures like Marvel Legend figures, you know, and it doesn't make any differences if you want to make a bigger console, smaller console, you know, bigger means longer time, um, bigger one, you also need more paints on it, that's all. So when I start the command console, all I need to do is just randomly, you know, draw up where I want the monitors to be or the panels to be, you know, and nothing more than that. There's no skill in it, you know. Um, I did not really plan what to do with it. I just, you know, draw whatever I want. And then after that, I cut holes out of it. That's it. And um, you can build the command console, um, you know, as a panel, like what I've done here. It got a certain thickness. In the rear of it, that's, that's a, just a hole. I did not close it off. And that's a reason for it, because I'm going to put lighting inside to show you how it works here. And then what I did is to add, you know, layers of cardboard or mangboard on the command console. Just adding random details on it, you know, as random as possible. Then I will start painting it. Nothing more than that. So you can proceed to painting straight away. Um, and I paint it with a um, Warhammer dark grey color. So after I paint the grey, the dark grey, then I'll give it a black wash. So I use just a Tambia, you know, wash. We can also get it quite easily. Or you actually don't, if you don't want to wash it, that's fine. And after I've done all this, I let it dry. You know, it's only take five minutes, nothing more than that. I start applying um, light um, gray on the edges to highlight the um, features on the command console. So the painting on the general colors of the console is finished. That's it. So after I finish painting the command console, I start have, uh, cutting separate piece of cardboard to be placed behind the openings, right? And then I start painting the monitors on those cardboard. And I start painting the monitors. Now the monitors may be a little bit tricky to do. I understand that, you know, monitors, you usually have variation of colors. You know, if you paint the monitors in one single color, it doesn't look right, right? So you want to have this monitor lighting effects, right? So in this case, I uh, have the green color for the monitors. So what I did is I paint with a dark gray and then I have a much lighter 
bright color green on the edges, painted in a gradual colors, getting much lighter when it comes to the very edges of it, right? And my painting is not perfect, it's not top notch, but it's presentable. Um, but of course, you don't have to do it. What you can do is you may go to the internet and search for monitors. So you search for command monitors or sign find monitors and print it out and stick it on a piece of cardboard in the monitor as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I place it behind the, um, the opening you know the monitor is actually behind the, the, the opening right so it has this 3d effect to it but and also I actually gonna put lighting on it so the lights can pass through the gap and then the edges of the monitor will be light up so it looks like the monitor really lights up so that is why I have a gap between the opening and the monitors and after I paint the colors on the monitors and I start painting the uh, information on the monitors, the, the stuff that's shown on the screen. So what I did was using a small brush and using white paint and just dash the details on the monitors, you know, um, and the dash line looks more like um, things that you see on monitors rather than a uh, continuous line. And this is all done by freehand. Um, but again, of course, you don't have to do it. As I said before, you can, you know, find some, you know, um, images or monitors on the internet and just stick it on it. As simple as that. You don't need to do it yourself. And then I cut a few a small pieces of cardboard and stick it on the corners of the uh, monitors. And then I stick it to the back of the um, console. As simple as that. And make sure the monitors, you know, the stuff that you see on the monitors, aligned with the opening. So now you can see on the edges of the monitors, it looks like it has been lighted up. And the last part I want to show you is how it works with light. You know, um, obviously the monitors is not a transparent piece. It is you know, hand painted on cardboard. And but because I leave a gap between the monitors and the opening, right? Um, and what I did is, if you put lighting behind it, like what I'm showing you right now, right? I put for example, a lamp behind it, or I can put really small, you know, LED lights behind it. Um, it lights up. You see the lights slip through the um, the gap, so that it becomes a diffuse light. So the monitors looks like it has been light up, and I'm quite sure this method can be done easily by anyone. You know, you don't need to be an expert on it, right? Just go to any shops, get a lighting, get a, even get a torch. You can get LED lights very easily as well. You know, these days very small LED lights from $2 shops, you know, or, and just put it behind it, simple as that. You know, you don't need to do anything to it, right? And you light up the console, as simple as that. And it's great for photography, great for your action figures, and it looks beautiful. So that's it, as simple as that, right? So one, each console, right? Each small part of this console took me roughly 15 minutes each to get it done. Painting of the monitors may take a while. It took me an average of five minutes to do, which is not too bad, you know? Yeah, so the whole thing can be done within a day, half a day. And so now comes to the end of this video. I'm quite sure you'll find this method very easy to do and I'm quite sure anyone can do it easily, right? You, you don't need to be a professional. You don't need to be good at model making. Yes, it is as simple as that, you know? So why don't you have a try? Why don't you just try one first and see how it goes? And after you've done it, let me know what you think. Show me the photos of the action fixes as well. You know, um, if you have Instagram, share your photos to me. And for those of you who haven't followed my Instagram, um, my Instagram always shows, you know, progress photos of the things that I've done. You know, um, all the scratch wheel models, scratchable Land Raider, for example, you know, this scratch wheel co command console. So please subscribe me, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my Instagram. And I got more tutorial for you in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.